we had Zunate. Uh, he's been very unlucky of late. He ran second before a spell um, at Hawkesbury. Came back in, had a nice run first up. Went to Hawkesbury, his next start. Was just beaten again on a heavy track. Um, we went round last start to Hawkesbury again. Went up to win, and the uh, winner did a bit of a, a left turn. Uh, run out at us, balked us. On a heavy track, it's hard to pick yourself up again. Actually lost so much momentum that it cost us second spot in the end. We protested, but we're unlucky enough to just couldn't quite finish close enough, but on a heavy track, it's hard to finish again after being forked that close to the line, but he was going to win, there was no doubt about that. So unfortunately, we're going around the maiden again, probably next week. Uh, he's nominated for Canterbury in a 15.50. There's also a race at Hawkesbury again, so a few races for him to be nominated for, but we're just going to get some luck, don't we, mate? Hey? Beautiful boy. Here we have Unlocked the Rock, really nice filly. Uh, put some good runs in last preparation and uh, we're looking forward to this campaign. Off the back of that she's been a, a, a fast net rock that's taken a bit of time. Um, she's up and ready to go, she's had a couple of gallops in the last few weeks and I'd su suggest she trial um, sort of around the middle of, of July and head back to the, uh, the, the track and hopefully we'll see her in the winner's circle very soon. Here we have a Sebring filly, absolutely magnificent. Philly, I've got to say, from the time I saw her at the sale, um, I was just really keen, hopefully, that Elite Thoroughbreds could pick her up, and certainly uh, we were lucky to get her, because uh, um, I thought she'd be well found. She's got that real speed shape about her. Um, she's not real big at the moment, but I think she's going to grow into a nice, nice size filly. She's a bit of a woolly pyjamas on. She's just been out spelling during the colder months. She's broken and educated, and she's coming in for some education. Um, I, I really like this filly. I think she was one of the picks of the year, a real athlete, and she, she, her half-sister was a flying machine, Gay had. Didn't quite live up to expectation. I think she went sore, um, but it was very fast. I think it won a trial by six or seven lengths at Ramwick one day. And um, so the speed's there, the mare's throwing fast horses, and hopefully the Sebring Cross will show some strength and we have a really nice filly coming going forward. But she'll just have a bit of education, a bit of a look around this week. Go back out and grow a bit more, and um, from here on, you'll see a really nice horse. Here we have Sebring Lass here in the stables, having a little bit of hay. Um, she's going really well, this preparation. I've always thought with the pedigree she's got, she'll get 2,000 plus. Real stayers pedigree, we've been very patient. Our owners have been at least two. Had a couple of starts last campaign, showed something, just wasn't quite strong enough to be really finishing her races off as strong as what we we're hoping to see. So we gave her a spell again. She's come back a little stronger. She's just one of them horses that's taking time. And um, you know, as I said, we're hoping to see this preparation to get up to 2,000 and beyond and um, win some races for our very patient clients. So when they bought into this filly, we were adamant that we had a middle distance type horse. So everyone was sort of conditioned to the fact that we weren't going to be racing at two. <laughs> she loves the camera. So hopefully we see a good result in this preparation for everybody. Hey girl. A beautiful filly by Sebring called Sajana. Um, she had a preparation last time through where she had a couple of trials. She had good speed of first one and second one just didn't quite do what we were hoping to see. And we find that two year olds in particular, if they're not ready, if they don't trial up to at least winning a barrier trial, I don't like to take them to the races. In Sydney, there's only one race every Saturday for two year olds. So you're finding some of the biggest stables, the Godolphins, uh, Kieran Ma, Gay Waterhouse, uh, Hawksy, Peter Snowden. They've got all these million dollar colts and fillies and stuff that go around them two year olds at that time of the year. So the quality all year long in Sydney is probably a quality that you'd see getting into races like slippers and lead ups to slippers. So if they're not up to that level, it's not, not, not much good racing them. You're better off just to give them some education, be patient. When they turn three, which is just around the corner now, there's a race every second day of the week. So plenty of races for three year olds, but not so much two year olds. They said they've got to be top class horses to run it too, otherwise you're just wasting your time and you're not really teaching your horse much. So this preparation, we, we want to see this filly get to the races and more importantly, see her in the winner's circle. Here we have Seaborg. He's a very promising son of Sebring. The last preparation, he had a couple of really good runs, Kembler, and then he got beaten in the head at Wyong. Unfortunately, he came back and had blood out of both nostrils and we put that down to the fact that we was during the year, the time of the year when we had all that smoke in Sydney, and maybe his lungs were affected by, by that. But um, he's come back from a spell. He ran a really good race at Kembla Grange first up, was charging to the line, and uh, was looking for further. So he gets that chance on Thursday, 13:50 at Wyong. Um, hopefully Robbie Dollar can get the best out of him, and we can get that win up on the board. He's a three-year-old rising four. 
Um, but he's going to get further. He'll get up to 2,000 meters, this fella. Nice horse. Okay, this bloke is probably the biggest horse we've got in work at the moment. Vigoroso. He had his first start back from a spell at that canter at a really heavy track. Thought his run was pretty good. He's only beaten about four lengths, five lengths at the most. He was finishing off okay. And he goes to Newcastle this week for a 1,400 meter maiden. Um, he's been a horse that's taken a bit of time, being a big horse. And I think this preparation is where we'll see him really start to put it together. He works really good, and we just haven't quite seen it on race day yet. He's won a trial just before his first up run at Canterbury, which was good to see. But as I said, he's just taking a little bit of time, and um, hopefully we'll see a good run this weekend. He's big boy Strixon. He's a two-year-old. Uh, he's by Nakoni. He's a big boy, and uh, starting to get a bit woolly, don't you now? It's a bit cold. Uh, he's trialling for the first time on Friday, so he's had a jump out and a bit of education around Warwick Farm. Nice big horse, and um, he's taking a bit of time. As you can see, he's a big horse, and sometimes the bigger horses are the ones that take a little bit more time than the, 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 uh, the little short sort of sprinting types. This fella might get over a bit of ground later on. Lovely horse, looking forward to Friday. Here we have uh, a long row colt out of Takanori that we uh, purchased at the Magic Means this year. Um, you see he's, very, he's a real long row. Uh, great little temperament. He's just in for a look at the moment. Um, you know, but the babies usually come through two to three times before we really put any sort of uh, speed work into their legs. So it's all about conditioning legs, conditioning their mind, making sure that we've got um, horses that we can deal with uh, that aren't hard to ride. Uh, get used to obviously the, the walking around the streets, back to Warwick Farm track, tying up in the tie-ups, barrier education, all that sort of stuff is going to be ahead of this little fella. Got no idea what's ahead of him, have you mate? Hey? You got no idea, have you yet? But hopefully we've got big things ahead of you. Another ticket in the lottery, the racing lottery, they say. Hey team, here's our last start city winner of finally in Estrado. She's done a good job for us. She's been thereabouts nearly all of her life. And uh, finally, great ride from J Mac, third the fence, got off the fence at the right time and put him to bed. She's a, such a trier. Um, she's never far away. Her racing pattern on a few occasions has cost her a few wins, but um, one thing about her, for a $25,000 horse, she's come a long way. She's won well over 100000 now. And I don't think it's the end yet, is it? Oh, the girl. But uh, she's uh, going to be nominated for next Wednesday at Canterbury again. Unfortunately, J Mac can't ride her in that race, and there's another race the following week for Phillies and Mares. So if uh, we can tie down J Mac the following week, we might go that way. Otherwise, we'll accept and see what turns up on Wednesday on the track that she won last start on. So um, now that she's put that win uh, on the board, who knows, she might put uh, a few more together for us, but uh, as I said, it all comes down to luck in running with this girl. And like we are late with Iron Brock and but Cosmic Cameo staves them all off, but Bring a Gem with a gun runner is way too good, and there's a double for James McDonald, Straturbo just in front, it's ripping on it won the last, Straturbo is coming away for a brilliant victory, and goes down to beat Octane Flyer, and then came in third, not Rocky. Tester Shadow resuming today's a neck in front from Oxford Poet. It can't pull back the margin. Tester Shadow patiently ridden outside the leader. Here seeking asylum with the last shot at them. Bursting through on the outside. Oh, what a great finish. Seeking asylum. And Dulles says, go on, Sebring Sun. And it races up to hit the lead and starts to wedge away on the rosebud. Sebring Sun from Boilier and let's make it rain. Regis run home into fourth, followed then by Tatouche. Then Bambra from Zoo Tanada and can be bossy after leading finish back at the tail of the field. Oh, yeah.